I want to do this series, I'm introducing it today, called Beyond Blessed. (laughs) Because we're not just blessed, we're far beyond blessed. And I want to do this series because, for another reason, I want us to think about we're not blessed so that we can be blessed, but we're blessed so that we can be a blessing. Remember? Remember Abraham, the calling, Genesis 12? I will bless you, I will make you great, and you will what? Be a blessing. It's all about being given a gift so that you can give the gift away. And when you understand this, I don't think it's a coincidence either. Because it's not just that our earth is smoking around the earth, right? Um, My notes will be wrong. I'll I'll look it up. But it's some crazy numbers. 600,000 miles an hour. And then our sun, it happens to be, is rotating around the Milky Way. There's this big dance going on there. And this is the big dance you need to understand, right? It just goes like this. It's the flow. The early theologians called it the Trinity. One pours love into the next. The next pours love into that person. The next pours. It's a, it's a dance. It just keeps going like this. So God pours his love, his grace, his forgiveness, his mercy, his goodness. He showers it on you. Why? So you can just build this big container and pop? No. So that you can pour it to the next. And then they can pour it to the next. And they can pour it to the next. In the early days of Orchard Grove, we went to see a movie. It was called Paying It Forward. Anybody remember that movie? Pay It Forward. That's the whole That's the whole idea. The whole idea is not, you know, God blesses you so you can show everybody how blessed you are, but so that you can pay it forward. Now, I know that, that somehow people get the idea that the, the, the most important part of worship is that God needs to hear you praise him. I, I don't really buy into that. I, I mean, if you, if you believe that, I don't care. It doesn't matter. I don't need to argue with you. But sometimes I wonder, it just, it, it makes God a bit needy. And that's why I think you read the things in the scriptures like, God doesn't need your sacrifice. The cattle on a thousand hills are, he doesn't need any. He's good. I do think it does something for our soul when we offer our thanks and praise to God. I really do. I think it recenters you. So I'm all for it. But I don't think it's because God needs it. But I think what God prefers, which is where the prophets came in and began to teach us, God didn't need our sacrifices right? But he wanted mercy. He wanted us to be good to our fellow man. He wanted us to pay it, what? Forward. Blessed. The series we're going to do is called Beyond Blessed, and it means that it's time for us to pay it forward. 